welcome. My name is Alicia G. I sing, I dance, I DJ. Today, you are tuning in to Spill the Tea with Alicia G. We have a special guest. And his name is Juggy. He's a wild man. He's Juggy the Jokester. As you're following all social media, Alicia G. World. Sure, follow me here on Vigo. My Instagram post every single day. My YouTube once a week or more. TT and more. All Alicia G. World. Hit that bell for notifications. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let's get ready for the one, the only, Juggy the Jokester. How the hell are you, Mr. Juggy? How you doing, Mr. Juggy? I am balling eyes and sure was only. I'm good. How are you doing, Alicia? Welcome to Spill the Tea with Alicia G. Be sure you're found sharing, chat on the screen. Let's get in. Let's get juicy. Let's get boss. Let's get big delicious. I'm Spill the Tea with Alicia G. Brrr. So, Juggy, you are quite the jokester. How the hell you doing? How how you doing, Juggy? Doing fantastic. Um, I'm fantastic. I don't know. <laughs> are you camping out in the woods? Yeah. You're like, you're like in a... Uh, very dark environment. I mean, I wish, but you know, <laughs> you got, you got, you got, you got to be, you got to be in the oh, yeah, sunset yeah, in the mountains yeah. right now, I guess. <laughs> oh, okay. We're not no, no, just a backdrop. So, I wish. <laughs> I have to ask. Do you have hey, your pants on, Juggy? You. I actually did wear pants today. Wore Usually pants, I wear guys. shorts, but I did Wore wear pants, pants today, so. It's all good. I just had to ask. <laughs> okay, okay. So, Juggy, how did you get your name? Uh, I was always a fan of the Archie comics. As a, ki as a kid, I, I collected them. Like, I have, still have millions of them. And I always liked the character Jughead, so I started off on this app with Jughead, and I was like... Uh, I kind of like that it doesn't have a good ring to it, so I shortened it. No juggy. Juggy the jokester. Uh, so, Juggy, where did you grow up? Tell us a little bit about that. Like, where did you grow up? I grew up in a, uh, not a big city, but a roughly larger city uh, called uh, Clarksburg, West Virginia. Uh, when it, but usually when people hear West Virginia, they think, hey, he's backwoods, married his cousin, you know, but... Hey, it's okay, we don't... Only twice, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I didn't That's never wear right. cousin. That's okay, that's <laughs> okay, you know, a circle of trust. <laughs> no. Do you have any brothers or sisters, anything like that? I have a stepbrother and a half-sister. So... How was school like growing up for you? Were you the popular one? Were you the party man? Were you the the bookworm? Were you the prankster? Tell us about tell us about little Juggy. I mean, to put it short for a second, I, I had my own special chair in the principal's office when I was in kindergarten, or I mean elementary school. So I mean. I was always doing something to get in trouble, always telling jokes or like doing something crazy in class to like, I was always wanting to make somebody laugh or like just goofing off, you know. Right. No good grades, no good grades. Like one time I made like 115 on a history exam. That was like one time because I actually did it. Other than oh, that, really? I wasn't doing my homework. I was, <laughs> like, I, mean, I, was I wasn't a good kid. You a good kid, like when you say bad, like bad like not do your homework bad or like bad like I stole a car bad like like what are we talking here bad no 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 oh I mean I did steal a detour sign once in middle school while waiting on the bus and we pointed the cars in the other direction while waiting on the bus but <laughs> I one also one time I did kick a hole through a bus stop but window but <laughs> it was on a dare <laughs> Like, what is the worst thing you would say you grew, like, when you're growing up, like, under the age of 18, that you say you did? Like, 
scandalous. I mean, I stole stuff from Walmart a couple times, but they find out? that's about the worst thing I ever did. The first couple times, yes. Then I got better at it. <laughs> I don't do it anymore. You just saying. Judge. Just saying. I don't <laughs> oh, it's okay if you will. We don't judge. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I, I grew out of it. You know, you, you grow up That's and you good. learn. That's good. Don't drop the soap, Juggy. Oops. I mean, no. <laughs> so. You said you're quite the jokester prankster. What um was like the craziest, worst? Oh my god, did, did I just do that? Yeah, I just did that. What is that prank you ever did on someone like that? Oh my god, prank. I feel there's some. I mean, I got my buddy one time. We, we talked about it because we were going to do it when I was there, but I didn't get to do it when I was there. To put Kool Aid powder in the shower head of his mom's shower. But what happened was, when you tried to put it back on, the shower head came off and hit her in the head during the shower. That didn't work. Oh, it didn't work at all. Nope, yeah, she's fine. She was fine. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. No, no, she's good. But. Anything else? Yeah. I mean, just regular stuff like rubber band, rubber band around the uh, nozzle of the sink. The little hose thing. Oh, I don't when you turn on the sink, get sprayed, you know. <laughs> you, just, you just take the little the little hose with it, and you squeeze whatever, put a rubber band around. So that way, as soon as they turn on the water, it just sprays them right in the face or chest, whatever. Or like, uh, I don't know if you ever taken. Uh, you take a piece of cardboard, fill, fill up a cup with water, take a piece of cardboard, flip it over, slide it off, and they have to come pick up the cup. When they pick up the cup, water goes everywhere. If I can still do it, I don't know. <laughs> oh, it is. So, out, like, when you were in high school, were you like, um, I don't know the term, were you a player? No, not a player. No. <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't there long enough. So, like, I quit, go, I quit going to school about high school time and kind of stopped going. Like, I get on the bus and I get right off, go back home. Didn't want to go to school. I guess you'd call me how I don't know. I guess you'd call me a little bit of a nerd, but I'm okay with that. Like, I I wouldn't even go to school if my homework was not done. Like, oh my god, my homework's not done. I can't go to school. Security, help me. Like, I'd freak out. I'd totally, like, I'd totally freak out if my homework was not done. Are your pants still on? Okay, just making sure. That's okay. Yes. Still on. We're still good. Guys, you're I don't know about OG, but I'm still good. on that screen. Welcome to Spill the Tea with Alicia G and our special guest, the one and only, the Juggy, the Joaster, the Gigolo Juggy. I mean, uh, Juggy. Of <laughs> Vegan. <laughs> oh my god, what is that? Thank you, babe. That's my, that's my beautiful girlfriend right there just gifted me. She's amazing. Oh, take it off, ho. Take it. Put your, put your pants back on, OG. Put your pants back on, bud. Would you like to spank OG, ho, daddy? Would you like him to spank you? No, I'm good. <laughs> oh, no, uh, we can talk later in the DMs. No. <laughs> it's okay. That you two can take it up in private. We don't judge up in <laughs> Spank is spanking time. What? Um, okay, so right out of um, high school, what would you say your first job was like? What was your first job ever? Or in high school, first job? Um... Stocking the cold bu the cold okay, bar at okay. uh, Ryan's buffet. <laughs> Did you like it? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, like okay. New. Like the, the 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 back freezer stunk so bad. I I, I mean, <laughs> I can say that now because the Ryan's is tore down. I can say that now that the back freezer stunk. So. <laughs> uh, growing up in school, did you play any sports? 
um, any like music, any kind of any activities, dance class, cheerleading, anything like that. Um, I did. I did fifth grade fifth grade choir. Okay. And I played and I played trumpet for a couple years too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I only really ever uh, played like football and, and baseball stuff like that, like out with the neighborhood kids, and whatnot. I never actually was on a team or anything like that. But so, out of school, whatnot. So, what was I talked to a few colleges, oh, but mm, one, yeah. I know I never went. It depends, you know. It's preference, definitely preference. So, let's, let's get into it. Like, did you ever date more than one girl at a time? Uh, it's okay, we don't judge them. Not that I can recall. No. I, 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 I'm a mama's boy southern, southern man, so I don't really, you know... I'm I'm a gentleman. I don't I don't do that kind of stuff, you know. But before you, before you know, when you're single, and that you know of, okay. So no, not that I know of, honestly. Any little juggies out there that you know? Of? Um, not unless somebody did something to me while I was sleeping. I don't know. <laughs> so tell us, like, when your craziest <laughs> date experiences, so your craziest date. I mean, I I don't really go on dates per, too much here lately. I mean, it's not hard to remember back to one because I kind of I, I I I'm not kidding you, Alicia. I literally took like a ten year break from dating. I was so tired of the Tell crazy women out there. Some of them, not not all of them. Crazy, I'm not saying all women. Crazy. Oh my! It's it just well. <laughs> I get her away from me. <laughs> I mean, it's not really too crazy. Story. I mean, I mean, I went and made out with a girl in the car, and she wanted me. Apparently she's pregnant and wanted me to be the father right then and there or whatever, come to the hospital and I was like, I, we just met for the first time. I'm oh like, no, thank you, I'm good. Big daddy, <laughs> big daddy, big daddy. Like, no. <laughs> I, was, I wasn't trying to be a dad right then and there, especially not well, after the first date. Uh, Sorry. So like, what was your craziest date has ever been? Like... Like, tell us experience. Well, that's not like, the only one that I know of, but, I mean. the, the restaurant. I don't know. She stole your wallet. I don't know. Tell me. She stole your car. I don't know. You know? Kind of I never had anything crazy happen yeah. on, on date, honestly. That's, that's really crazy. No. I mean, I mean, I, I wouldn't call it a date, but I did go into a, a strip, club, strip club one time, and the dancer came up to us like, Hey, I'm Destiny. I'll be your dancer yeah. tonight. I took hey, off running. You know, there's someone for everyone. It's just preference, you know? Um, okay, tell us about your worst date. Your worst date. Um, we I mean, probably have to go to back to middle school where a uh, girl dating and ended up uh, cheating on me with my best friend, and you know, it wasn't it wasn't a fun time. But I mean, that's back in middle school. That's about the only well, really bad experience I've had. For, I mean, I mean, there's nothing really, I mean, just, uh, I mean, I just kind of got told one day, hey, I don't, I don't love you anymore or whatnot, oh, I don't like you, whatever. <laughs> like, uh, went out with the best friend, uh-huh. <laughs> pretty much that, I, I was I wasn't included in that. I think that's pretty much how it ended, yes. just like that. Mm. But it was middle school, we were, we were young, so. Makeup story. <laughs> Mom, mom, I, I I don't work for CNN. I'm sorry. I mean, I didn't say that. <laughs> Wait, have you ever been <laughs> on a blind date? Have you ever been on a blind date? Um, so no. The dating app, something I've not. like that, nothing. I mean, I I checked out a few dating apps, and I never really went went it along with anything. I'm, I wasn't too. For a while, I wasn't too keen on the dating online thing until more recently. You know, I was I was I was kind of weary of like, how do I know this is a girl or how do I know this girl is not a crazy psycho killer? I feel you. So, um, ever had like a one night stand? Uh, 
Um, just the one beside my bed, but I mean, that's about it. I'm... <laughs> so, so there's four. That's four. One. That's, that's, uh, that's the only one I've seen I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> Never had a one night stand, huh? I mean, it might squeak a little bit. But. Play guitar. How do you get into music, Dougie? Uh, at an early age, I mean, I, I, I as long as I can remember, because I cannot remember when it all started. Uh, somehow I heard Elvis singing and playing. I don't know if somebody playing a CD or something like that. And I fell in love with uh, his music and everything just from there. I, I mean, my grandpa played guitar for years and was a was a pastor. He's uh, retired now. And I always want to play guitar. I always want to pick up singing. You know, I always felt like there was something special born? about music. You know, you know it, 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 it gives you a good yeah. feeling. Oh, it's okay. Did you like steal the wine? No. We don't judge. No. No. Although I did hear about some altar boys in uh, it was Italy that uh, filled the uh, incense that things with marijuana and went, walked down the aisles with it. It's okay. We I don't wish. Judge no. <laughs> hey, Jess. Uh, do you have any uh, so musical influences? You, you say bass music. I mean, just, it's just, 50s, just okay. uh, I'm really a '50s guy. Like it crazy, yeah. It crazy is. I mean, it, that's where it all started. Like. I love doo-wop, I love the melody, I love the way the, the voices flow together, and it just, it makes me want to be able to sound like that and do that, you know? It's, it's just influence, but any, anywhere from the 50s, uh, I like a little bit of the 60s, a little bit of the 70s, 80s and 90s, I, lo I love too. And some of some of today's stuff I do love too, but not I don't really listen to too much of it, but any, anywhere in there can it can influence the way I do or what I want to play that day, or ju it's it's just the feeling of what I want to, what what I want that and, day, um, what what feels good. Memorable performances you like to tell us about, like performing on stage. I I <laughs> I do not perform on stage. I do not. I perform on Bigo only. I mean, there's been like one time I performed at the church. I think. Uh, um, uh, Country Roads on stage one time with my buddy scared me to death. I mean, I was shaking, <laughs> playing guitar, sitting there playing guitar, shaking to death, and that's 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 the only time I've been on stage to actually sing Any, and play uh, guitar. But. Plans for your music career, like uh, maybe future endeavors, anything, and coming work. I mean, I I have talked to a, a, a been approached and talked to a music producer. But I'd have to pay a little bit right, right now. I can't afford that, so I may go on a track. I'm, I'm sure you know Ricky Rebel in here. Uh, he's in uh, um, Aura Family. Ricky Rebel. He's actually uh, so he was in a boy band in the '80s, and whatnot. But he approached. Hey, a uh, uh, music producer pr approached me about maybe being on a track with him. Well, it takes money, you know. Money, as they say. Mm -hmm. yeah. Trust me, I've been through it all. If you don't know, I do music, and I've been through it all. Like <laughs> you can't imagine, I've been through it all. So, just tell us your top three all-time favorite jokes. Hit us. Top three. Tell us. Hit us, Dougie. Oh, we're have mercy. That's hard work. I have been telling one I think is pretty funny right now. Um, I just one I kind of made up because uh, 
You know, uh, uh, I, I thought one day I said, hey, wouldn't it be funny if uh, restaurants and fast food places came out with condoms, like with their slogans, like, you know, McDonald's, have it your way, or I mean, McDonald's, blah, 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 blah I'm loving it, and then McDon- or Burger King, have it your way. I said, the, I said they could even sell one in the South from Olive Garden when you hear your family. If you want to sell that in the South, I mean, <laughs> 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 it might work. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I mean, there's some I make other some I just, just stick with me. Like, um, I hate that I'm drawing a blank right now because, <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, there's always one that uh, I I tell quite a bit. It's like uh, I yesterday I bought shoes from a jug dealer. Man, I don't know what he, I don't know what he laced them with, but I've been tripping all day long. Mm-hmm. Give it a juggy. <laughs> so walk it out. Walk it out. <laughs> a jug. <laughs> jug dealer. Wow. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Or like, uh, let's see, what was one I've been telling quite a bit? Uh, do you know what uh, Moby Dick's don't. dad's name was? What he said. Papa, Papa. Boner. Yep. Papa B. I mean, that's my that's my top three right now, you know. Oh, Guys, girls, ladies, and gentlemen, you are listening to Spill It Tea with Alicia G, our special, talented, our jokester, the jiggle, I mean juggy, of Vigo. Be sure to give a follow, guys, if you haven't. <laughs> Show some love. Tap on that screen. Let's get the ladies that's Share this broadcast. We are on school TV with and the one and only, the Jazzy Man. Thank you. Share, follow, and share, and check us on that screen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Don't follow me. I don't want any stalkers. No, I'm kidding. Please follow me. <laughs> it's a Jazzy. <laughs> Top three best pickup lines. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, Lord. Your place or mine? No, I'm kidding. That wasn't one. But <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, shoot. I, I I haven't used anyone any for so long. I mean, <laughs> that's a tough one. It's been a it's been a long time since I used to pick up line. I mean, I've been I've been dating my current girlfriend what about three four months now, well, so it's been a good while since I had to use anyone. <laughs> oh man, I mean, I just use jokes to pick her up, but I mean, <laughs> um, shoot. Oh, uh, is your name Google? Because you're everything I've been looking for. That's a good one. Or ever searching for. Uh, was it your? Is your name Mike, Microsoft? Because I'd like to crash at your place tonight. <laughs> um. Oh man. I, I'm 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 struggling to figure out. Remember all the ones I used to read. I don't. <laughs> well, babe, I don't remember any right now. The Spanish line. I don't know what you're talking about, bud. Well, so, yeah, some, sometimes I speak to girl in Spanish, and that, that just, that's good enough sometimes. But, Ooh, yeah. Very little, very little. Uh, let's see. Yo soy el camino y la verdad y la vida. Okay. Just, just, just a simple Bible verse. It, uh, it means I, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. I, t- I took, I took, I took Spanish at a Christian school, so. <laughs> So if, I, if uh, like if any church girls in here, I'm not trying to pick you up. I'm just 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 saying. <laughs> yeah, Yeshua. Mm-hmm. Yeshua. Uh oh, I think I just I think I just got proposed to just now. <laughs> Oh, I 
I should have put on it. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to put it on. Guys, you're finally sharing. Welcome to Spill the Tea with Alicia G and our special guest, Brrrr, and Jackie the Jokester. Okay. Do you have the tattoos or piercings? So, no Prince Albert? No. Not one. <laughs> Not yet. Any? Nope, not yet. I mean, we'll talk about it later. I mean, I, 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 I've, talked, so I've talked to the girlfriend. Yourself, I mean, no. <laughs> no, I don't have any plans to do that. No, I did talk to her recently, though, about what what if I pierced my ears? Would, would it look good? We're, we're, uh, I'm thinking about buying some magnetic ones just to, just to try it out, see how it looks. Better boy. You sure you don't have a Prince Albert though? No, just a Prince regular, I don't know. Yeah, you call a Prince Jockey? <laughs> it's I mean, okay, sir. I don't know. The AGM is one of them. Okay, okay. Um, have you ever, like, ever dined in Dash? Really? Never got to No. I would have thought Not in the South, no. <laughs> you... Oh, you yeah, don't do that. Well, you might get shot. They want to hold the juggies. They want the juggies to watch the juggies. Okay, okay. Um, have you ever, um, Ding dong ditched. Ding dong ditched. I think I, I um no not 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 a doorbell but we have I have knock and ran before. Can you tell us about that experience and you know the person. No. Yeah. I mean I I never got caught so. Like a random house or was. I do not. I do not remember if it was random or somebody else, but I know I have done it before. Like it, it might have been my friend's mom that we did it too. Uh, well, I think she, I think I said just hanging out and we just went knocking doors, took off running, made her keep coming answering. Okay, it's okay. No, no, no. We, we loved her death. That's why we picked on her. <laughs> no, 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 no. I I don't have hate for anybody. Honestly, I don't, I don't dislike anybody. They can they can be they can be annoying or I, I may put them to the side or whatever but okay. I honestly don't hate anybody yeah, it's not it's not in me. So, uh, do you like to have three sons? No, never been in a three. No. Song? I, I I'm good if I can handle one woman. I mean I don't need two. I think that'd be too much. I'm sorry. <laughs> Is there any plans for a possible freak song coming soon? Okay, it's okay. I mean, new no preference. We don't judge up and we do lay down. <laughs> All you need is love. That's true. It's the love. <laughs> oh, OG just went in on the threesome. That's what it is. <laughs> so, like, you never been to a swingers club? Mm -mm. It's just a strip club one time, and I'd never been to another one because the girl that came up to me had a deep, raspy voice. And I was like, Nope, no I'm good. Swingers club <laughs> on the record, no plans. New? No, I don't. I don't think I. Just I think I'm settled down. I think I'm good for the rest no, of my life right now. You know. Club. Okay, so you only been to one strip club? Only once. Tell us about the. Yeah. Well, well if, 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 if well, I know you're a female. Alicia, I don't, I, I, I don't, I don't know if, if, what, if you like men or women, Alicia, I'm not going to assume or anything, but if a girl came up to you and said, hey, my name's Destiny, I'm going to dance for you tonight, I'm not, so, no, I'm not you staying, then the that's guys, exactly what happened. <laughs> no, I got out of there and <laughs> didn't come back. Um, were you ever um, a stripper? Not for me. <laughs> Um, okay. on Beagle, yes, okay. no. We don't 
I have taken my shirt off a couple times on Bigo. Never got in trouble for it, but... But, but so, you're not, um, a Zag dancer? Nothing like that? Uh, maybe in my dreams, I don't know. I never, not, not in real life. Yeah, you never know. Okay, let's, let's go to... Oh, have you ever gave a lap dance? No. I, I, I'm not, I'm not good at the shake in the butt. I don't think that'd turn out very well. <laughs> No, I, I can dance. I, I, there's a video of me dancing. I can I, I can dance, but I'm not not that kind of. D Danny, don't you tell me I'm lying right now. Don't even say I have never twerked. <laughs> well, I've attempted to twerk, but it's not pretty. Guys, who's coming in? If you're following, sharing, tapping on that screen, <laughs> share the broadcast. We're having fun tonight on Spill Tea with Alicia G and our special guest, the one and only the Jim. So, um, let's play a little game. Would you rather okay. eat dessert for a week, pies, cakes, ice cream, or would you rather eat health food for a week? Let's make it a month. Let's make it a month. A month. Um, I mean, I get a pretty pretty good headache from eating too much, like a, just a little bit of sweet sometimes. I don't have a really, really sweet tooth, but I think I'd go with the I, healthy I food for a week. I really like healthy food. I really like that. I, I mean, I don't hate healthy food. It's not it's like, like my favorite, but I would eat it for a week because right. I'd have a headache that whole week if I was eating sweets. <laughs> Don't, don't call me a liar, Mom. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. It's okay. We don't judge. Not true. We're <laughs> judging for you, though. Was it good or was it good, good? Like, hey. <laughs> Her mom's in here, she might not be able to answer oh, that. Hey. Ooh, <laughs> oh, wow, wow, Jen. Need a little more. Oh, oh, I mean, this is about all yeah, I can dance right there. There we go. That's my move right there. No. <laughs> Guns, Joe. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, okay. You know, I was actually, I was really thinking one day, I'm thinking, you know, what should Juggy's porn star name be? And I thought she was Jiggle Juggy. What are, what are your thoughts on that? I mean, it sounds like a good name. I've never really. I mean, I've, I've played those games like on Facebook where it says, hey, uh, take your first letter of your name and on this list and then your last letter and here's your porn name or something like that. But I've never actually given any serious thought to what my porn name would be. Well, well, what would be a name? I mean, does. Jiggle or Juggy does, does, does have a ring to it. <laughs> Juggy. I can see it now. Up in life. Jiggle or Juggy. What do you think, guys? Jiggle or Juggy? <laughs> I think it, it, it just, it's just nice. It flows off the tongue. Like, <laughs> oh, wow, David. David. Very nice. Very crazy. Anyone else want to share their um, adult film star names? Choo -choo. Okay. Oh my. Choo -choo. Any others? Anyone? Anyone at all? Anyone at all? Wow, 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 that's money, wow. Oh, Jesus, oh, gee. Put your pants back on, put it away, bud. I don't know, I just, I just don't know. <laughs> Any thoughts from me? I don't know. Uh, okay, I can. 
Take your take your pants off, chase Bert Bert around the couch. I'm chasing that basement. Run fast, Juggy. Run, Juggy. Run. Run, Jiggle Run, run, run. Hey, Sybil. I mean, I don't know. Uh, Alicia G. Licious? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, thank you, Danny. Thank you. I don't, I don't mean, I'm, I'm good with catchy Perfect. names. But, I mean, not for myself, no. But. Your wife, maybe no. <laughs> that's hot. That's hot. <laughs> On the hub. <laughs> On the hub. Oh, uh, maybe just home video, you know. Jiggle <laughs> juggy, does video with ginger. We got the jiggle, we got the juggy, we got the video and ginger. Jiggle Juggy does do that with ginger. It's all love. It's all love. You do love. <laughs> Jiggle Juggy. Oh, goodness. How the hell are we all doing today? We fall out of control as always. Okay, okay. What celebrity crush do you have? What celebrity crush? Um, I've always had maybe two in my lifetime. I was, uh, I mean, I think it maybe was somebody else when I was younger. I don't know, but, uh, oh, what's your name? Um, uh, Natalie Portman and, uh, Scarlett Johansson always been on top of it. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. No, I'm not. Megan Fox is not hot to me, Steven. Good taste, girl. Good taste. Now we're talking. Wow, Captain G. Good taste, huh? Good taste. Okay. If you were stranded on Desert Island, had to pick one person from the who would it be other mm -hmm. than your girlfriend? Oh, Lord have mercy. Brittany. Well, I'm not taking Danny because she can't go anywhere without yeah, her lashes. Sorry, Danny. <laughs> um. Oh man, that's a hard one. Oh Lord, have mercy. I mean, I have to be either take Martian or Paul. If I can't take my girlfriend, because I, I mean. Oh gee, I'm not taking you, but sorry. I'll take you well, hey, Jay, if, if you're my guy, I'm gonna have to take you. Because <laughs> I, I, I don't honestly don't know if it wasn't Ginger, I'm who I'd take. It had to be either Martian or my buddy Paul or Jay. I don't, I only have a. Never really thought about too much to pick one. How did you find out about Vigo? Like, you went from a juggy 
school prankster Beagle, like, wait, what? Like, how'd you find out about Beagle? I mean, I think I just, uh, I think I just got lost my job, I believe, or ha had been without job for a while. Uh, cause, I mean, I don't, I don't mean to get serious, but I suffer from anxiety disorder. I can't control it, it just, it goes on and off when it wants to. And it's caused me to lose a couple jobs, and, uh, I was just bored, looking for something new, looking for people to talk to, and I went through the app store, I downloaded a bunch of them. Uh, ended up coming on a Beagle, met a, a girl named Crystal, uh, became great friends with her. Uh, and met her friend, uh, Kyle, and went from there and there, and there's, here I am now. How long have you been on Beagle for? Uh, I've been a host, uh, oh, wow. a year in it August. It longer than that. It does. It does for me. I mean, I, I may, uh, my, my twin it? brother may have been on here for a little while longer. Oh. But we won't talk about him. No, 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 I'm, I'm just... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, <goodness. laughs> um, what is your best ever experience on Vigo? Um, I mean, that'd probably be my audition, maybe, or, or the when I got my first dragon. But, uh, my audition, uh, so many people showed up, it's, or, well, I don't know, so many people, but, like, a friend showed up, and people, some people I didn't know or didn't know that well, I end up, I end up uh, getting a box in my audition. I don't know anybody that's done that, but, but, yeah, it was, it was one of the best experiences I had, and then the day, of course, the day I met Ginger, of course. Oh, that's a good, <laughs> most embarrassing moment on Vigo. Oh, shoot, no. Okay, I'm, I'm going to put this out there. Here we go. No, nobody saw anything. Just, we're, just, we're, just we're saying. I mean, uh, probably Jay, but <laughs> no. Um, I took my phone to the bathroom one time. Uh, I was sitting in the comments of a multi, had my pants down. It popped me into a box. Nobody saw anything. I was away from the camera, but still. Here I am with my pants down, getting ready to go to the bathroom, and it pops me into a box. Did they hear anything? So I quickly grab my phone and get out of there. Okay, just asking, just asking. No. <laughs> um, what would you say, have you ever, okay, ever had any drama on Vigo that you ever had to encounter? Um... I try to stay out of drama. I don't really, don't really put up with it. I mean, you want to come at me or anything like that, I'll, I'll come back at you or just pretty much ignore you, pretty much laugh at what you're saying because uh, I really have come, I've come to a point in my life uh, where I, I don't care what people have to, the people, negative people have to say anymore. It's, it's not worth my time, you know. I mean, it, it, uh, there's often there was a saying I, I heard a movie once or twice. Doesn't matter what they call you; it's what you answer to. And what I stopped you answering, you know. Your worst experience on Vigo has been. Um. Yeah, the bathroom. Like <laughs> 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 okay. That's not the only thing that I can think of. My worst experience. I mean, I never had anything too bad happen on Vigo. I mean, I guess I have to go with the one I got today because it's pretty cool. It's the new one. Um, what's it called? Uh, I, have to, I have to look. The Mythical Beast. Oh, that looked, that was pretty cool. Like, it's my favorite one right now. <laughs> the uh, yellow one. The uh, 1K one. Like, it, it was super cool. Like, it's the first time I've seen it today. And, like, it's got to be my favorite right now. <laughs> wow, Jay. <laughs> Um, 
Well, as you know, I am a I am a prankster, jokester, whatever. So, uh, I told I told Ginger one day. I said, "Hey, uh, I think this is I think it's I don't think this was when we was dating. I think it might have been when we were still just talking and whatnot. I can't remember exactly when." I told her, "Hey, there, I I just tried to get on Bigo and a pop up came up. Can you go on and see if it comes up for you, or or like or said something for, like some warning came up for Bigo? Could you go on and see if it comes up for you?" And she went on right when she went on. I flashed her with a dragon as fast as I could, and I got she got so <laughs> mad at me for lying. But <laughs> all right, so Juggy, favorite sport? Football. Your favorite team? Football, hands down. Okay. Pittsburgh Steelers. Do you cook? Oh, okay. What type of yes. your favorite dish, your, you know, your specialty? I mean, I love to make uh, avocado toast, like uh, fry me up a couple eggs, uh, toast some bread, put avocado on it, and then put an egg on it, maybe a little bit of cheese or like peppers and tomatoes on it. It's really good. So would you say um, you do like to cook? Oh yeah. Do you like to work out? It's yes, but I have not gotten to in quite a long time. <laughs> I'm too busy anymore to... <laughs> favorite movie, or you know, top two, top three favorite movies. Oh Lord. That is a really hard question. <laughs> I'm a huge movie guy. I own over oh, 300 to 400 DVDs. So, I, it's hard to pick a favorite, though. I mean, like, I don't know if it's actually my favorite, but off the top of my head, I want to say Goonies. I always love Goonies. It's, it's one of my favorites since I was a kid. It makes me laugh. You know, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good all around movie. Uh, or, like, um, Remember, 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 ugh, remember the Titans, yeah. What about uh, TV shows? You have a few top favorite TV shows? Um, that one's a little easier. Uh, it'd be Stranger Things, which is actually a Netflix series on the actually called TV shows, or uh, Chuck. Mm -hmm. Could trade places with a celebrity for 24 hours. What celebrity would it be? Um, Zachary Levi, I think. I've always been a big fan of Zachary Levi. Like he was, he was in Tank. He did Tangled. He did Shaz Shazam. He also did Chuck. <laughs> Do you have any pets, Dougie? Five I have dogs. five dogs. dogs. You have Juggy. Can you show us any or? Okay. Um, not right now. They're all hiding. They're, they're sleeping. But, um, I have uh, oh five goodness. Shih Tzu Terriers and a Yorkie. And now are they just strictly pets, or do you raise them, or they're strictly pets? No, just pets. Just pets. What happened was, you know, we we were the responsible people. We kept our dogs on leashes or whatnot, or chained ch chained or like uh, in a fenced in somebody else didn't and we end up with puppies and puppies and you know yeah so do your doggy sleep with you my doggy sleeping i have two doggies they don't no no they squirm too much and, and uh, scratch in their sleep so i i do not let them sleep with me so if you're not on Vigo, what do you do in your downtime? What does Juggy do? Um, watch movies. Uh, I did play video games for a little bit, but uh, here recently, um, my pretty much brand new TV fell off its stand, and it's now cru the screen is crushed. So we're pretty much down to one TV right now, and I have not hooked up my. So it, it was a smart TV too, so. 
<laughs> yeah. So I'm, I'm using my old TV that, that has issues like uh, something's wrong with the, the light in it. So uh, if you turn up, if you turn the brightness all the way up, when you turn it on, the screen shuts off. So we're using that one right now until. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I watch movies and hang out with my girlfriends. That's about all I do off Bigo. And even when I'm off Bigo, I'm working, doing work for Bigo, making flyers. Uh, I mean, and now, planning stuff for shows, shows, you know. You have some featured shows here on Bigo. Do you want to tell us everyone about it? I, yes, I, uh, me and Ginger have a few shows. A couple she hosts, a couple I host. Um... On Sunday nights at 12, uh, midnight, we have a, a new night show, late show. Uh, we're looking, always looking for guests. If anybody wants to be on it, especially you, Alicia, you're on the list there. Definitely. Um, we have a morning show in the mornings uh, on Bigo. I think it's called Bigo, the Bigo Cafe, where we just hang out, talk. We read a couple of interesting news stories, talk about weird foods that people eat for breakfast around the world. I mean, talk about different things. Uh, Ginger also has a Bigo date show. Where she brings up a, a, a female or male. I don't know if she's going to have any males yet, but right now, females. And she brings up three people that are cammed down and they can only use the comments. And that contestant asks questions and they answer it. And whoever has the most right answers or whatever at the end wins the date, whatnot. And working on a lot of things right now. She, we have Trivia Tuesdays. If everybody likes trivia, come up and hang out. It's, it's just, you know. Working on a few new shows too. We we can't release anything yet, but until we get the, the all the details worked out, but right. we're always That's working, right. you know. How did you and Ginger meet, your girlfriend? Um, I think she, I think somebody I knew, or either had a multi, or she was in. A, she, she, somebody I knew was in her multi. I have to pop in there and hey, hey, there's this cute girl up there. I'm gonna to talk to her a little bit, try to get her laugh, maybe get her to like me a little bit. Maybe she think I'm cute. And or I don't know if I ever thought she'd think I'm cute, but you know. <laughs> but no, I just popped in one day and here's this girl, redhead girl. I'm like, hey, she's cute. Let's talk to her. She doesn't seem to like me. I'm gonna to have to make her like me because she always used to pick on me. Like every time I go in, she'd say something smart out to me and her smart aleck and I'm like. I don't think this girl likes me at all, so I'd keep working every day and every day, you know. <laughs> and finally one day, you know, something kind of popped and she, we end up uh, either, I think we video chatted on Snapchat or something like that the first time, or something, or WhatsApp, I'm not sure. Got to know each other a little bit, and then uh, two weeks later, I asked her out. Any uh, plans to go to Canada? Oh. Definitely. <laughs> Poon, you don't even know what you're talking about, bud. Ginger's seen my underwear, so try again, Poon. <laughs> I'll just do like a few little random fun ones. Yeah. Ever gone skinny dipping? Never have I ever questioned. Ever gone skinny dipping? Um, no. <laughs> Always afraid someone would bite me. <laughs> freaked on an ex's social media. Um, yes. Ever I I have, yeah. ate a carton of ice cream? Oh, yeah. Have you ever, oh, I don't know, gone commando? Are you commando right now? Yes. If I have. <laughs> New. I'm wearing, I, actually, if, if, if the audience would like to know, I'm wearing Sudoku underwear. Okay. Like, if you want to fill in the, in the numbers, anybody? No. <laughs> Um, you ever got a speeding ticket? You never had a license? Don't drive, so, no. Really? Oh my goodness. No. I tried driving uh, a couple times and uh, I would end up, uh, literally when I got out of the car, my leg would be shaking. Like, I, it's not for me. It's, it's, I, I'm fine. I'm fine driving until, yeah, until another car gets near me, and I'm like, nope, I'm done. I'm, I'm gonna end up hitting this car somehow. I... Okay. Um, 
I actually, I'm a professional passenger. Do you know that? <laughs> I'm a professional ass kisser. No, I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that's my grandparents right there, but uh, quite have literally. <laughs> Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I used to get, okay, I used to get pictures Dougie. on here in videos. Okay, oh, that's clear now, just so everybody Have knows. You ever <laughs> used a fake ID? No, really. I have. No. Hmm. I, I never needed one for anything, you know? Ever been to a bachelor or a bachelorette party? Nope. Ever gotten to a physical fight? Okay, okay. Uh, more than once, yes. Met a celebrity? Um, I mean, let's see. I've seen a couple, met a few Christian artists in my time, and I've also, uh, I've also went and seen the Duck Dynasty uh, cast live in uh, Charleston once. Mm. Also saw Home Free, and I actually thought, I think I actually, uh, they're actually at a table, so I kind of met them, you know, afterwards. I don't know if anybody knows who Home Free is, but good, good country group. Have uh, you ever thrown a house party? Have you ever went to a party? No. I, I, I'm and too afraid. Um, I mean, we, we, in the 90s, we had like skating parties. Why not? Like, should we go to skate party? rink or something like <laughs> that? No really, no, no really crazy ragers. Parties. No crazy, crazy parties. No what? Never, you know, the car landed in. No, the not pool. really. You know, like, you Thank know, you, Cody. something like that. Project. Mm -mm. Never, never crazy party. I mean, I, I don't drink or, or smoke, so I don't, or do anything, so I don't really get invited to too many parties, you know. Have you ever snooped on someone's phone before? Oh yeah, my mom's once, maybe. Alright. <laughs> I think we asked this, but what would you say your craziest prank on your parents has ever been? We said prank, but you can hear um, it from parents. I mean, I did, the, I did the hose thing a couple times. We were right through a band around the hose in the kitchen. And I, I think there was one, one time I, uh, um, April Fools, I told him the dog got loose and was running away, and it wasn't, you know, stuff like that, you know. Yeah, it's been an absolute pleasure. Would you like to, I know you're very talented, but you sing us a little song. A little something, something. I mean, we can sing a little bit of something here. We'll see. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if I have a full song prepared, you know. Thank you, Cardi. Pleasure. Did you have fun, Juggy? Well, fun? I would play a little something here. I told you, it's a silly fun. Like, what did you Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh lord. Make sure we're in tune here. We're not fighting Could it be that 
Thank you, thank you. Everyone, join Jay on Spill Tea with Alicia G and our special, special Thank you, Jay. The Gigolo Jug, I mean the Juggy, the Jokester of Jam Bigelow. I'm Bigelow. Oh, Bigelow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, so what an only Juggy. Let's get a screenshot here. Jaggy, it's been an absolute pleasure. Please tell everyone once again about all your, um, it was a pleasure. I hope you had fun. Thank everyone you for having me. Tell everyone your social medias so where they can find you and shout out your shows again for one more time. I mean, you find me on the clock apps. Uh, you find me on Instagram under, uh, I think it's Garrett underscore Juggy or Juggy underscore Garrett with two T's and two R's. Um, you can find me on Bego, Swag Jug 7. Uh, I'm on Clock App. I'm uh, on Facebook. You can find me on the same name. Just, just pretty much it. That's, that's about it. Everywhere on on uh, on the Clock App, you can find me as that rep dude. I have about thirty six thousand followers on there already. If you want to check me out. Guys, you might in the circle challenge. <laughs> Alright, guys. Thank you. I mean, I we might try, but you know. <laughs> Anything else? You'd like to tell anyone? Oh, come no, definitely not. <laughs> Just, uh, just uh, if y'all want to check out the morning show, uh, it's at 8 a.m. every Sunday, Sunday morning, and then we have the midnight show, uh, 12 at midnight Sunday night. And uh, I mean, uh, I can't remember dates. I'm, I'm, my brain's all fuzzled tonight. <laughs> it's been raining. I had a headache all day. I mean, it's yeah. Those are all EST times. Um, I think that's about it. It's an absolute pleasure. Can I ask yep. one question? What was your favorite question on his whole spill the tea? The funny is like, oh my god, did she just say that? Oh my god. Um, I mean, I mean, ask, ask me if I ever, was ever uh, a dog answer ask was an interesting you. question. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> oh yeah. If I was it's ever a, an exotic dancer. Plan to be, keep us posted and let us know how it goes. Ginger, you know, let us know. <laughs> it was spill the tea, girl. We'll see. Thank you, it's absolutely a pleasure. You're <laughs> awesome. Best of luck in the future. Thank you, Alicia. You have a great night, darling. It was, it was amazing. It was a pleasure. Boom, boom, baby. One, two, three. Boom, boom, baby. I love Dougie. Boom, boom, baby. Good night, Dougie. Sure, don't follow And there you have it, folks. Spill a tea with Alicia G. Be sure to tune in each and every Thursday on Bigo. 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, each and every Thursday, where we bring that one special guest to spill the tea. Hope to see you soon. I hope you all have a blast. Remember, guys, all on social media, Alicia G. World. Be sure to follow me here on Big Alicia G. World, my Facebook like page, my Instagram, post every single day, my YouTube channel, once a week or more, all Alicia G. and YouTube be sure to follow as well and hit that bell for notifications. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for being me. Thank you for being amazing. And remember, the best is to come. And thank you for watching. Oh, and uh, boom, boom, baby. <laughs> That's all we should do. Until next time.